Welcome to our Medicare 101 series. In this presentation, I'm going to discuss Medicare supplements and how they work with Original Medicare. In this series, we hope to answer general Medicare questions that you may have whether you are currently a Medicare beneficiary or soon to be a Medicare beneficiary. At the end of each video, you will see our phone number that can direct you to any of our offices throughout the Franciscan Health locations. Your costs associated with Medicare's Parts A and B, Original Medicare, include premiums, copays, and deductibles. Your Medicare supplement plans can help pay for some of these copays, deductibles, and coinsurances. However, they will not pay for either your Medicare Part A or B premium. Medicare supplements will help cover certain costs that Original Medicare does not pay. Supplements are also known as Medigap plans and do not include prescription coverage. Supplements typically do not have a network and are offered by private insurance companies. Supplements are standardized plans, so no matter what insurance company you choose to enroll through, the plans are the same coverage. How do supplements work? Well, when you go to the doctor, hospital, or other medical service, they will bill Medicare for that service. Then, Medicare will approve or deny the service depending on whether they feel it's medically necessary. If approved, the remaining portion is then sent to your Medicare supplement and the remaining balance can be paid according to the terms of the plan. Should you want to enroll in a Medicare supplement, you first need to decide which plan fits your needs. The plans range from the A plan through the N plan. The G, K, L, M, and N are newer plans. We will focus mostly on the G and the N plan. As you can see, the G plan says it pays 100% of the costs except for the Part B deductible. Therefore, if you choose to purchase the G plan, then Medicare would be billed first, sending the remaining costs to the G plan through the insurance company. The G plan would cover all the remaining costs except for the Part B deductible, which is $226 in 2023. That deductible can change year to year. The N plan is similar, except once you reach that $226 deductible, you are still responsible for potential co-pays of up to $20 at the doctor and specialist. You may also be responsible for a fee of up to $50 at the emergency room. That $50 fee could be waived if you are admitted inpatient hospital. As a reminder, these plans will only pay if the services are Medicare approved and medically necessary. The Medicare Supplement Open Enrollment Period revolves around when you take your Medicare Part B. We will discuss later about your options if you are still working. However, I want to note on this slide that your open enrollment to get into any Medicare supplement without health underwriting starts when you take your Medicare Part B. If you are still working, you may want to wait and take your Medicare Part B in order to maintain this enrollment period for when you do go on to Medicare. Once you are outside the six month window of taking your Medicare Part B, then you may have to go through health underwriting if you do not qualify for a special enrollment period. The Medicare Supplement Open Enrollment Period starts when you take your Medicare Part B 
and continues for five months past that. Supplements do not include dental, vision, or hearing unless it's medically necessary. However, there are options to purchase separate additional coverage for dental, vision, and hearing to cover your needs. If you'd like assistance with your Medicare options or just have general Medicare questions, call us at 877-883-6400. Five, seven, and you can choose the office located nearest you to speak with your local Franciscan insurance consultant.